and we're rolling hey what's up everybody this is fd from rolling with fd and i want to tell you all about the 5,000 subscriber contest first of all subscribe once you subscribe to the channel you make yourself eligible for the contest and these are the breakdowns of the tiers for winners for the first place winner that individual will get a card or cards up to a thousand dollars for the names of the players that they have sent in the second place winner will get a card or cards up to 250 dollars for the names of the athletes that they have sent in now for third place that's going to be broken down into five different winners and those winners will receive Rolling With FD merch of their choice. And one of those winners will get two pieces of Rolling With FD merchandise. I want for everybody out there to remember, in order to be eligible for the contest, you must first subscribe. So please do. I'm excited about this. G is excited about this. This is really cool. Help us get to 5,000 subscribers. What's up everybody out there? This is FD and G. This is Rolling With FD. And today we have a special show for you. I can't tell you how excited I am. We go down to Average Joe's Sports Cars in Buena Park, California to Wednesday trade night. Now G and I have been to this event once, but not throughout the duration of the event. So stick around now. See what two cars we take to trade with and who are some of the people that we talk to about those cars. And also, who do we talk to about the LeBron James card market you don't want to stick around for this this is real cool g pump it up who's rolling with fd who's rolling with fd i'm rolling with fd what? who's rolling with fd i'm rolling with fd talk to him so everybody pardon my voice been a little under the weather but i'm good today today we're at average joe's and we're here for trade night. You see how excited I am? I'm excited. And so I have two cards that have just been graded. Now you saw us submit these cards at the Del Mar show, but they're back. So the LeBron came back a 10. That's cool, right? And I submitted a little mellow gold collegiate out of 10 card, full auto, not the abbreviated auto that he has now. Came back a nine with a 10 auto. So these are our two cards tonight for trade night. So we're gonna do some hard negotiating. Let's see when we go in here, what cards are up for trade and what kind of conversations we get into. I can't wait to see what tonight brings. Let's go. Got the mellow. Yeah, bro. There you go. Oh man, are you kidding? Absolute monsters. I was happy with the nine. Yeah. But yeah. you know in those cards, a oh, nine. Yeah, that's like a 10. That's like a 10, man. That's like a 10. I'm willing to hold on to them for a while. 100%. It's a great card right now. It'll just pick up that shit. Thank you, bro. As soon as he, as soon as he breaks the record, yeah. and then when he plays with his son, that's why. More. That's why I said I'm, I'm patient more. on it. But you know that card is 2,184 pounds, but it still has that's, that. For as much as that stuff was printed, though, that's not a lot. Yeah. But it's still the card when people think of LeBron, they think of that right. card. Yeah. I remember that was a, I remember that was the 200 yard card. When he first came out. Yeah, I wish I was collecting back then. I was I collected that year because I knew who you I thought who was gonna be. I would have never right. predicted that. Right. And then I took a long break and came back. Right. That's how it works. It is what it is. It is what it is. How you been, bro? I've been good. Being good. Cool. Had a couple of deals tonight and just kicking it, watching the game. Yeah, we're gonna chill out. Yeah, for sure. What are you traveling to next? A local show this week is here in Premier, and then I'd like the next big show in Dallas. I saw you selling some stuff on Instagram. Yeah, always. Very interested, man. Send me up. Message me. Appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Got into F1. A little something different. Uh, Lewis Hamilton. Too nice. Too nice. Not the goat in the whole sport. That's nice. I'm not doing too great. Sixth place this year, yep. but yep. let's see uh, how Mercedes fix their car and maybe make a run for number eight yep. before he retires. I think he's gonna have to try to break that, that shoot marker tie, get number eight. That's a nice car, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. So, like I said, get a different score. I just wanna keep it simple. Stick with the game plan. Stick with what I've been doing and get a go. I was showing Travis what I brought in. Okay. So I recently I, I submitted both of these cars for grading oh, on Del Mar. Dude, I know, I heard. Through the grapevines. Oh. I pulled that car in 2003. Oh, oh. man. And then I also submitted to this. Oh, yes, I remember this. Yeah, Del Mar, we yeah, were talking about it. it. Yeah, this is still my favorite car. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the one I took in a Burbank, Burbank. months I ago. Yeah, I saw that one. Pulled one. out of the plastic bag. Yeah. That's one of them. Eventually, we're going to get the other ones graded as well. Send them all. Send them all. I'll take the ones you don't want. <laughs> This is beautiful. I saw the video we were talking about you want a nice step for for this. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have one for you. We're willing to be patient and wait. Yeah. I would like to take a step up a step. I'll even be able to put both cards together yeah. to yeah. move for a step. I'm trying to do the, the learn the patient game. I'm going to pick up a Donald Donovan Mitchell at the Del Mar show. Flawless. Yeah, yeah. This is Marcus. Yeah. yeah. Marcus, you know, a little rough. 
we just see what happens with his career. Well, bro, you know, he's been talked about. He's been chilling out with some Miami people. He's definitely leaving Utah. Yeah. But supposedly him and Gobert said one of us has to go. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I heard as well. Uh, we'll see in Miami. I heard New York too about the first Miami. Not and if he could go to Miami and get back, get to the playoffs and actually do something. Think about Donovan, Butler, and Bam. It'd be nice. But you know the market would adapt and then yeah, they will like your sure, For sure. That's part of that. I'm trying to learn to be patient. I'm trying to learn to be patient. Yeah. We'll see. Well, tonight should be interesting, bro. Yeah, it'll be fun. It's always good talking to my people. And what's cool about being at a trade night is moving around and being a part of the community. And that's what we're going to do next. That's a great <laughs> part. That's hard, man. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. 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 yeah, it's a cool car, man. Out of 20, National yeah. Treasure. Yeah. Nice car. What's your price on this? 4K. It's a nice car, man. It's his jersey number now. He changed the number. Oh, it changes the number? Beautiful car, brother. Travis, you know how you get down? Try it. Try it. But these are wonderful. No tens of this, only nine nines. That's his first year for both. So that's basically like that. Yeah, I know it's not Mix it up. You know the Hurst market could be big this season. I was just talking to someone on the phone about that last night. If he starts playing well. Early week scheduling. Yeah. Games. They can start like Florida. Who you pick these up at here? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And when you come to Average Joe's, there are five cars in the cases. We kind of move around, ask some questions about what we see. Check out these fire cars. Yeah. So that's cool. That's a cool car. Numbered out of 50, 29 of 50. That's legit, people. Thank you, brother. We got another favorite. I just want to tell my grandkids I held it. That old Tony car right there, the 6500. Oh, that's a jet people. That's the real deal about the whole scare right there. It's a bomb car, bro. Crazy car, yeah. Crazy car. Wonder what the pop on this is. Find out. He's having a great year this year. 97. Bro, this is pop 97. 97? Only, only two higher. That's yeah, a great car. Thank you for showing me that. Yeah. That's something I gotta remember right there. You see the step seven at 850? That's a top paper, rookie car. Step. That's why didn't ask about the job. The one here for a Jeep? Uh-huh. It's a nice car. Centered well. Is it numbered? Must be. You didn't know until we take a closer look. Well, so what is the number that I like? 10. Are you serious? <laughs> Can I see that car? <laughs> Man, that's so legit. That's so legit. I know it's out of 10. You don't see that. Average Joe. Thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> it's funny because we didn't know either until we looked a little bit closer. You never know when you have it. Also. Yeah, this, this is the hot corner here. Nice stuff. Very cool. What's so cool about coming out is that you get a chance sometimes to catch up with people you haven't seen around. Hundo is here. It's always good talking to him. Nice, man. Yeah. Pretty good trade, oh, you just posted this on yeah, Instagram. Just posted. I, I just, just saw your post. Ten minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. I just saw this post while I was sitting there browsing. Yeah. That's a car. Up, man. It ain't basketball season, but I love it. Mellow. So you just keep it rolling. Yeah. So I'm going to show you two cards. We're not playing no game. I pulled that as rookie year. I've never seen a team in person. Hang it, man. That's heavy. And I bought this off eBay. It just got a great one. On card. Full name. That's D, baby. You ain't playing no games out here. No. Nah. Now I'm looking to maybe move both of these to get a step curve pop. Bring back a nice step. But I'm gonna try to be patient with it, bro. Yeah. But brother, that uh, ball. We're gonna you... rush and move those. Nah. <laughs> the ball, the ball you got, bro. I love that yeah, card. Yeah, appreciate you. Appreciate you. It's a nice pickup. Let me see what I can do with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good to see you, bro. My wife got me a box for Father's Day in LA. Uh, coffee breakers. Yeah. And uh, it was in a top strong box. Uh, Rizzo Sports. We just merged it. Oh, is that right? Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah he bought it from us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looking to move it though. Look at that car, man. Someone told me they said all, the, all your higher end cards get get a. Uh, Get people you like because if you're stuck with them, at least you can keep it. Yeah, bro. What are you trying to get on this? Uh, 450 cash. Cool car, man. Rookie car. Surprisingly, this is actually a little bit more valuable. 550. He's having a great year. He he the team can't do anything. Yeah, both of them. The well, last night he had eight RBI. Eight. Yep. Yeah, two. Yep. Yeah, he tied the game up in the ninth. Yeah. Yeah. And then you expect, you know, you got try, you got Ward, you got. Well, when they brought Cinder, when they brought Cinder in. I oh mean, yeah, I was excited. I didn't think he was gonna do well. Nice, three, three. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm pretty new to hobby too. Two months. You doing well? Uh, yeah. Thanks. So. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay. Let's take care. Yes, sir. We're kind of sitting here taking it all in, catching up with different people, and guess who walks in? Average Joe's. So I brought some cars to trade tonight. Okay. This is something I pulled in 2003. You pulled that yourself? Yes. Wow, the 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron, iconic card. That's right. Yep. Absolutely. Love just it. got that graded. Ten. Wow. I, nice. I got this card as well. Nice. That's beautiful. Just got it. 
Yeah, cool. That's really nice too. Well, so this is the college card. Yes, yeah, right. So I like Lamelo. It is a beautiful card. It's flawless. It's the on-card auto. The fact is, the college card makes it a little less interesting to me. But okay. it is, it is gold. It is out of ten. That's so right. that's those things all make it nice. Pop one. Pop one. You know the LeBron. So here's the thing with this card. I own a forever. So I own several of these. I know cards. you do. It's obviously gotten beat up like over the course of the last right. year in terms of price. Um, right. Fifty thousand dollars down to maybe nine or ten. Right yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's every time it kind of hits a level like where you think like oh you know maybe maybe twenty thousand will kind of be the bottom goes down to fifteen. That's right. Uh, maybe fifteen will kind of be bottom goes to ten. That's right. Now it's below ten. Went right? to eighty five hundred. Yeah. Came back up a little. Yeah. So first of all, I think even though you know the population's somewhat high on these, not, nothing compared to modern day cards, right. right? So nothing like if you're comparing it to Luca or Zion or whatever, right. they're eons above this card cool. in terms of population. But still, it's over 2,000, so it's not a rare card right. either. There's a lot out there. Despite that, because it's LeBron long term, I still like it. I still think there's going to be a lot of collectors. There's going to be more than 2,184 collectors who want this card yes. in their collection. Yes. So I still am bullish long term. My challenge is, I don't know that we're at the bottom yet, right? Yeah. Because that's the thing. It's like, what is going to happen unless the Lakers significantly improve this offseason, which I'm not sure they have a clear path to doing. They're probably not super relevant next year. That's right. Maybe LeBron leaves and go, you know, at some point, maybe he's obviously going to team up with his son, Bronny, at some point. But who knows what team that's on. It could be a horrible team. If someone drafts, sure. you know, his son high and they're a really bad team, LeBron could end up at, and his career is over. And then it's like, where, what's going to happen in the next couple of years that's going to cause it to go back up? That's that's the thing that has me a little concerned it's almost about the like personal record. stats. He breaks right. Kareem's record. He does things Which like he that. does, which that is coming up. Yep. The Kareem record is coming up. 1,500 points, I think, away from it. I mean, there's no question, and he will get that next season. Yep. So there's no question that I love this long term. The only question is, do you pick it up today at 8,500 bucks, yep. or do you wait four months, and maybe it's at 6,000? Know, I hope it's not at 6,000, because I, right? But that's, that's the thing, so that's my thought. So I'm honestly a little nervous about it. Like, at some point, I am a LeBron buyer again. But at the moment am i a lebron buyer of a 2100 population card i'm still i still wonder if it can go a little lower i got you so i don't know what do you think you think i'm you think i'm right you think i'm wrong you no, think I'm crazy? I, I think you have obviously a, it's your card no i think you have a point i just think lebron's cards especially with that pole yeah. and that card it's a very different card yes. people think of lebron's rookies they think of that they yeah. think of the refractor they, do. they think of the black blade they do so i'm happy that that is the card that people think about yeah so if anything is going to go up it would end up being that card i would i i agree and in the long run again 10 years from now, I have no doubt this car is going to be sought after in value. It's just a question of do you buy it today or do you buy it three months or six months from now? You know, when do you buy more of them? When, you know, the market the market's continuing to be less off right now. So, I, you know, I don't know. But on the other hand, if you're looking to do trade, then, you know, that's also a different ball game because it's like, okay, well, you run the risk of any type of card potentially going Especially down a bit market. in the next three to six months. Right. So, you know, if you're doing a trade out for this card, is it possible this card could get down a little more? Absolutely. But is also possible that whatever card you're, you're trading, you got, you know, so yeah. Okay. All right. So you are looking to trade? What did you bring today? I, I brought a bunch of stuff. I brought a bunch of stuff. You want to sit down? Oh. You want to take a look? Let's we'll see what Jeff has. I don't know where my own camera guy went. Charles, might be missing a trade deal. I showed him two cards. Ooh. One LeBron 10 and one LaMelo. Nice. Jeff's bringing out heat here. Those are all ones I consider trading. Some of these are just kind of personal ones I brought. All right, so he's got a couple of cards he's looking to trade. So, you know, I, I brought a bunch of cards to trade. We're gonna see if we can get a deal done. One of the cards he's looking to trade is the 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron James card. Now, I own, I own several of these cards already. This card has been beat up in value over the last year. And I'm a little bit nervous that with the market being the way that it is, and with this being a card with a population of over 2,100, that this card could continue to fall in value in the months ahead especially because the Lakers probably aren't going to be much of a contender next year. So why would now be the reason to get really, really excited about this car? On the other hand, he wants to do a trade. And I do believe that 10 years from now, despite the fact that this is a population 2100 plus card, because it is still such an iconic LeBron James, the 2003 Topps Chrome is iconic, I do believe in the long term, there will be more than 2100 people who are willing to pay a handsome sum of money for this card. So I like it long term. I don't know if I like it in the next six months, but 
maybe maybe some trades to be worked out here and we'll see if we get something done. What types of cards are, are you looking for these days? Um, I'm focused on like Steph Curry, some okay. of the goats. Some of the goats? Yeah, LeBron. Right. Some upcoming players will probably be like LaMelo, Anthony uh, Edwards. Let's see. You know what? I have a LaMelo Kaboom. I don't know if I brought it. I have a LaMelo Kaboom that I would I would consider trading that one, but I don't think I brought that. I think those are the only ones I really brought like to trade. So um, these are not on the trading block, but I, oh, I, I, but, <laughs> Precursor. Okay. but I, I brought the, so, so look at, look at that version of that one. Oh, this is a nice car. Isn't that nuts? No, this is a, that's a great car. So that's, that's a black diamond. So that's a pop thirteen. Yeah, pop thirteen black diamond. So that's a wonderful car. Yeah, and then I've got the refractor as well. You can see that dances. Yeah, wonderful car. Yeah. So those, I mean, those ones I'm holding for the same reason oh, you like that card, right? Because it's like you know these ones. Uh, so what Jeff did was went rare on this. Right. Right. Yeah, because I love the card. I don't love the pop twenty one hundred plus. Yep. So what I, you know, so obviously, how do you take a iconic card but make a lower population? Right. Well, you can either go for the more rare variations of it, like the refractor, or of course there's the extractor, there's the black yes. refractor and the gold, or you can go with the black label, right, or a BGS pristine or something like that to make it more rare by a higher grade. You gotta get a picture, Jeff. So Let's there you go. Yeah, so these ones I'm holding, you know, just I think these things, you know, are long term. I actually own two of these. So I bought one of these last April. I paid around 100K for it, maybe a little over 100K for it. That's a great price. Like 110. But then one showed up at Golden like a month ago. And um, I'm watching it, and there was like, you know, a couple minutes left in the auction. And it was at like 50K. And I was like, man, like, you know, and, and obviously it come down a lot, but I'm like, that just seems like too good. So I ended up, I bought it. I think I bought it for like 55 or 50. Great price. So now I have two of them because I really do believe. And could they come down a little more? They could come down a little more. But thinking long term, thinking ten years out That's on right. these things, like you know, five years out on these things, I think I think LeBron is always going to be completely sought out. And I do think there's the opportunity to get him at a little bit of a discount. I just don't know that. Well, a big discount. I just don't know that opportunity is today, or I don't know that opportunity is three months from now or six months from now. But um, got some great cards here. here from now. Any that interested you? I don't. This is the only one. Probably, okay. But the look at. I think that's a fairly inexpensive yeah, card. Inexpensive. I think it was. Like 400 bucks yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So nothing, nothing crazy. So all right. Well, we probably. I mean, unless, exercise. unless you know, unless you want to trade me your beautiful, you know, tens of thousand for 400 bucks, then you know, no. we probably don't have the right elements to do a no, trade sorry. deal here. But uh, I certainly I appreciate uh, you going through this with me. Though. Absolutely, I appreciate it. I appreciate you know, seeing I your cards. The curry pot that you just picked up. The Steph Curry 10. Yeah. I have that too. I didn't. I didn't bring that out because that's again another one I don't really want to trade right now. It's a beautiful one. I really want to get the refractor of that too. That's a wonderful car yeah beautiful yeah yeah he's another guy like his stuff obviously is a little high at the moment yeah. coming off the championship and everything like that but he's a guy that like if his prices settle down in the off season or you know i agree he's another guy just like buy and hold totally. buy and hold like i mean really like honestly the the two guys currently playing who i would buy and hold is lebron and steph so it's probably all it. right yep how you doing good 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 yep yep it was cool having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Jeff Wilson about the LeBron James car market. This is a rare opportunity, but this is what happens when you come out to trade night. Anything can happen. Average Joes, I appreciate the opportunity. Hey, what's up, y'all? Now, that was a cool episode, wasn't it? That was a great conversation with Jeff Wilson talking about the LeBron James car market. It's cool to hear someone else's perspective and also give your own, because no one really knows where the market is going, but we're making educated guesses. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications button. We want to bring you more content, right? Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Let's go.